All right, last night's disastrous debate performance from uh, President Joe Biden obviously set off a ton of alarm bells among Democrats and the legacy media. In fact, even Biden's own allies, uh, who maybe previously whispered about potentially replacing him as a Democrat nominee, listen, that is a transition from a whisper to bold, in-your-face conversations today. Uh, his party is obviously looking and aggressively looking, some of them, for a new nominee. Uh, and it's, it's an unprecedented thing that we're all watching. And as you well know, our own President Tony Perkins was right on top of it all last night, and I'm honored to have him joining us by phone right now. Tony, welcome to the program. Well, thank you, Jody. Thanks again for uh, filling in for me on this Friday so I could get out of town. Well, listen, I know you've got so many plates spinning, and even right now I know you do, but I also know that you were tweeting a lot last night during the debate, and uh, just important, I think, for people to hear from you. Uh, what, what's your overall assessment of last night's debate, if you can give us a 30,000-foot view? Well, Jody, we know the, the Democrats like to pull fire alarms when they don't know what to say or do. Remember, uh, Congressman uh, Bowman that, that pulled the uh, fire alarm in the House uh, when he didn't <laughs> right. want to have the debate. Well, last night was one of those break glass moments for Democrats. Uh, I don't think they could get to the glass to break it fast enough to sound the alarm because it was evident. Uh, in fact, I tweeted it out. I said, here's my prediction. I was probably 10 minutes into the debate that Joe Biden will not be the nominee when their convention wraps up in August. There's no way. Now, I, I'm trying to figure out whether or not this was intentional, because people who are in that orbit know that there's a problem. Uh, about three weeks ago, there was a Wall Street Journal article talking about the president slipping. Uh, it was, uh, it was a, uh, an article that had been uh, written over a period of several weeks, interviews about 45 different uh, members of Congress and leaders, both Democrat and Republican. And uh, there was a lot of criticism toward the Republicans, in fact, the speaker, uh, for describing the, the president forgetting things, not being able to, to have a coherent conversation. Uh, well, at the entire, in fact, uh, House Speaker Mike Johnson on my weekend program a few weeks ago said, look, that's what I saw. I'll take a polygraph. Well, that's not necessary now because the entire nation saw what he's been seeing in his private meetings with the president. So I'm not sure, Jody, uh, the, the the reason they scheduled this debate. This is now people have to realize we never have presidential debates this early before the parties have their convention. So for those near President Biden to agree to this ahead of the convention, knowing knowing that he is not capable, uh, to me that suggests there are those that were trying to push him out or else they would have protected him until after the convention when it was too late to make a change. Yeah, and, and listen, that is exactly the content of some discussions that I've had with individuals today as well. The, asking that same question, was all this intentional? And you kind of step back, and it's kind of hard to not at least walk away with that being an authentic possibility. But this is really alarming, what we saw last night. Uh, it's, um, we, we've all known about his cognitive impairment. We've watched it even four years ago. He hid out in a basement during the uh, virtual entire campaign. This has been something going on, but, but we're in really bad shape right now. Well, uh, th it is. This I, is I, a danger I, to our dangerous. country. It's a dangerous right. place. I had a conversation this morning with uh, former Secretary of State uh, Mike Pompeo. Also, he served as CIA director about the, the, the precarious situation this puts the nation in. I mean, we're four months away from an election. We're six months away from a new administration. Look, I no question that uh, Putin was watching this last night. She was watching right. this last night. Uh, the uh, Ayatollah was watching this last night, and there are, uh, uh, I mean, I think China is salivating over Taiwan. Uh, I think Putin yep. sees his opportunity to move. So this is a very dangerous time, and this is what I would say, Jody, to our listeners, our viewers. We need to be praying. 
I mean, literally, w- there are forces of darkness at work here that are much bigger than what we see in the political arena. And we need to be praying. And of course, we need to be voting. And um, I, this is an unprecedented, as you've described, unprecedented. But it's not just unprecedented on the Democratic side. It's unprecedented on the Republican side. Absolutely. What we see happening in the courts, going after uh, Donald Trump. And, right. and so don't think that there's a, uh, a smooth road ahead. This is going to be a very, very difficult four months. Absolutely. You mentioned President Trump. We've only got about less than a minute left. But uh, how did the former President Trump do, in your opinion? Well, I think he did. He did well. On uh, and this is why uh, it's going to be difficult. I think they wanted to get rid of Joe Biden. They knew he could not compete against Donald Trump. One thing in particular that Trump did, is, and this is something we I had talked to him about personally a few months back, and and that was to go on the offense when it came to the life issue, going after the Democrats' extreme position, and he did that last night. And that's, quite frankly, what Republicans need to do. Now, I don't agree with everything what the president said about the abortion pill, uh, that being, you know, I don't agree with what the Supreme Court did on that, and that uh, that will trump what states are doing in trying to protect women and children. But President Trump went on the offense and exposed the extreme position that the Democrats have on abortion and, 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 and a host of other things. So I, did, I think Donald Trump did well last night. Thank you, President Tony Perkins, uh, president of FRC. Always great to have you on the program. Thanks for your leadership.